Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add some variables to your maze game. So one example of a variable that we can add is the number of restarts that we have. So I'm gonna go to the variables tab, click on make a variable, and I'm gonna call it restarts and hit okay. Now this added in a, a variable up here. And what I'm gonna do is make it so that I change this by one whenever I touch the wall. So I'm going to switch this so that it's uh, the restarts. And we want to make it so that we start off with zero restarts at the very beginning. So we say zero. So now when we press the green flag, our restarts are at zero. We're going, we're doing the maze. Ah, oh, I hit the wall. And ah, oh, I hit the wall. And ah, oh, I'm not very good at this game. And so we got three restarts because I touched the wall three times. And when I press the green flag, it resets it back to zero. That's awesome, That's exactly what I wanted to do. Now, I'm gonna make another variable here, and this variable is going to actually display the level. So I'm gonna just call this level, and say okay. And I'm going to add it to our restart code um, to make code that looks like this. We're going to set our level to, under looks, the backdrop name. Okay, so what this is gonna do is when we press a green flag and it runs this restart code, it now says level one right here. Now, this is a little weird because it says level, level one, which is the name of our backdrop. If we right click on this, we can actually say large readout. So all it says is level one. So as you're playing this game, every time you switch to a new level, it's going to restart, which will set the level to the backdrop name. In this case, it's level two. And then when I go to the next level, it goes to level three. Now, you'll notice on this third level that these are kind of covering up my path right here, so I don't know if there's um, a wall right here or if it's open. So you wanna double check these and make it so that you position your um, variable somewhere so that way you can still see. So when you move them, just simply check for each one of the backdrops to make sure that it's not covering up anything important like uh, what your goal is or a path, or maybe you wanna make a hidden path by actually hiding it behind one of the variables, um, but that's up to you. So again, to add in the variables, all you have to do is just go into the var variable section right here, click on make a variable, and then you're going to use it in your code, uh, for example, to count the number of restarts and to set the level variable this one to the name of your backdrop that you added in. Just make sure whenever you're using a variable um, that you reset it to zero, like for your restarts at the very beginning. Otherwise, it'll just kind of keep the count and just keep adding to it over and over and over and over without ever restarting. So have some fun with some variables. I know it's a little bit advanced, but uh, you can do some really cool stuff with it. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org, where you can also learn about our high-quality professional development.